right next to the final commandant, especially after I had already gotten the constrictor harness. Oh, good. It says you made it into the game. Um, you're right. I, I really don't know why you did all that, but you also but, say I was watching. I was just more conscious. Hearing this yeah. Part. I, I heard it. I didn't really see it. I was I was watching the other game. I was trying to get to Eden. Foreign city gained. Oh yeah, that's right. They were uh, rebelling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sixteen wonders completed. I hope that's throughout the whole game. Okay. Yeah, it was. Their way to get rid of all the notifications at once. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, not to my knowledge. Okay. What are my two messages? I've been warned by Harold. Congratulations to prescriptive you people. That's not really much of a warning. That's a congratulations. Please be by Harold. Please what did he Harold. say? He was congratulating on, on my people. What did the people say? What did he say, though? Specifically. Uh, I have satisfied his demands. Hmm. Yes, I know the game is is waiting on me. No, it's not. Said it was. Now it is. Oh. World Congress. World's Fair passed. Okay. Now I could actually probably put some production to something. I guess I'm going to do mobilization because that's the only one I could do. Send envoy now. Uh, these straight up produce gold, that's production, that's culture. Culture is what changes influence, correct? Um, no. No? Culture lets you make new policy. Uh, I wasn't sure if culture determined influence with, like, the city-states and stuff. No, no, no. Culture determine, de determines um, your government unlock speed. Okay. Basically, trying new ideas. Um, no, actually, I believe that's uh, how many envoys you earn and are able to send to city-states that determines your... Uh, relationship with them. Okay. What did you just turn into? What do you oh. mean? I, I had a great general. And I was... I had no idea what it just did. It just suddenly became a different unit. Seems to me um, like he turned into a dipshit. Just like you. Uh, that, that, that's a different story. Uh, what I really need is I need these damn Eastern um, Orthodox people to go away. That's what I need. Because that still got raining stupidism. They're converting Eastern Orthodox in uh, one of my cities, and I don't like it. Yes, well, unfortunately, Charlie, things that you don't like are necessary and will be forced upon you with a brick. 
So just get ready for the brick. Oh, the river flooded. I, I really hope they're just leaving me alone. What does a naturalist actually do? I don't know what a naturalist does in this game. You have to remember, I am not an expert in this game. I know, I was just hoping you would have some other idea than I do. No, not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enough for me? Well, look. Now I have another new settler. Let's see here. I could get a coal power plant, but unfortunately, I don't have any coal. At least I don't think I do. Horses, iron, igniter, but no coal. How can I build an oil power plant when I don't have oil? I, I don't have any oil. Let's just go there. Proposals. You won't. Yeah. Sounds like a deal to me. Some gold for a broken ass sword. Yeah, you could have it. Message. Hmm. Let's go for an art museum. We have canal. No, we don't need canals at those locations. Uh. Hmm. I am actually. Volcano becomes dormant. Somebody's proposing a deal to me. Not me. Oh, no, it's not you. You never get a good deal. No. But what if I had? It would still be denied. It probably would. Uh, current mission failure, actually. Wow. What was my mission? Holy crap. Um. Solomon is all the way up in, um. The. Information error. 
Yeah, I knew that there was going to be someone who was way ahead of us. Suleiman, um, I, I can actually see him from here. No, I know that's Gaul. Oh, no, no, I can see Suleiman. He's a standball. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a lot of information. Uh, I got a lot of uh, special resources. I got some nice cities and everything, and I, I got a lot going for me, but Gilgamesh is apparently just not that good of a character for this. Uh, I mean, seriously, he... I, I can't I can't really make any fraction here. I can't build enough res uh, special resources to boost my economy. I can't get enough added science out of this. It's it's just really not not working for me. I mean, I'm even trying the ziggurats because well, the ziggurats are supposed to give one production, two science, two gold, and two food, and that's not even doing anything there, so it's like, what the hell? Oh, I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'm just oh, thinking. Okay. Things got quiet for a second, and I was worried we got disconnected. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just um, thinking about my next decision. Well, it better not be breathing again. Everyone knows that's a terrible idea for you to be doing that. Mm, breathing. Fun. No, Charlie. No breathing allowed. Why, why does bombers require aluminum, but biplanes require oil? But bombers don't, don't um, require oil. What kind of bullshit well, is this? Technically speaking, bomber planes are made very light. True. Yeah, but uh, biplanes, well, they're already light, but they're kind of a gas guzzler because they're smaller size. Oh, where the hell are you going? Get your ass out of the water. Stop. I need you to shoot this motherfucker out of my city. Um, you... I'm just gonna send your ass over here. Volcano's erupting. That's not what I care about. Trade route. Shores route is seven turns, ain't it? With my own city. Oh, I think I know, um, I think I know how Suleiman's able to, um, climb the tech tree so quick. So, oh. it never occurred to me how the boost mechanics won, uh, worked exactly. Apparently, every single civic and, um, scientific theory that can be done can be boosted if you simply complete a mission associated with it. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of annoying, actually. That basically means, oh, so in other words, you do these arbitrary tasks, and now you have advancement? That doesn't really make much sense. Like, for instance, sanitation. If I wanted to boost it, I would have to build two neighborhoods. How does that work? I mean, seriously. How, how does that make any sense? Sanitation... I was not aware it required two neighborhoods. 
Well, it says if you wanted to boost the tech uh, called sanitation, build two neighborhoods. I wonder if that's why my, my science goes so quick then. Well, you actually have higher science than me. You said yours was in the hundreds, right? It's uh, 94.9 now. Mine's 76.3. You see, I haven't even been trying any boosts. So do, do, I, you, I, I do you think if I pick a war with Solomon, so, so, yeah, Solomon, if um, if, I if would you just... pick war with Suleiman, he will kill you. Okay. Yeah, I mean that guy is a sociopath. No, do not, do not screw with Suleiman the Magnificent. What am I going to do with all these cannons? Probably die. Hmm. I somehow have more trade routes than my capacity allows. Probably because this property here is pillaged. Hmm. <laughs> Unit of the chosen promotion class get plus five combat strength. Um, I'm guessing heavy cavalry. Chosen player gains two diplomatic victory points. Screw you. I threw everything into it. A deal if they want ivory. I am not giving them that. I'm not giving them some diplomatic points. Let me see here. Members. Gain score by completing the training athletes project. Maintaining stadium. Maintaining aquatic centers? What the hell is an aquatic center, Charlie? A center full of aquatics. Hmm. Stay away from my land, you filthy barbarian. No, oh, I did get one diplomatic victory point. Oh, good. I mean, why is it that they didn't give me any coal in this seed? I mean, there's just nothing. No coal. I got coal. Well, screw you. 
And I got tons of niter, but no cult. Okay. Okay, what? World Fair is just anything in the Projects tab. Hmm. Well, we don't have a World's Fair anymore, though. What's going on? Another one just passed. No, it's World Games. Oh, well, that. It's just any any of the projects. Now you could train athletes as well. If you look at projects, it's also that now. I've already started. Oh, good. I also have started. Oh, look, Suleiman's made a deal with me. Oh, 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 I don't like when he makes deals with you. Let's see, he wants me to give him money in exchange for open borders and a copy of Hamlet. The city's already lost loyalty to whoever. Not my city. Is that my city? Wait a minute. You... Oh, your city's rebelling? <laughs> no! The city was Harold's at first. Why is it mine suddenly? Maybe Hold up. Better. What do I need to do to gain loyalty on this city? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. I, I, um. Hmm. Oh God! Oh yeah, neighborhood. When a city, when a city uh, does rebel, um, usually they join the nearest empire to them that is not their home empire. I was not aware of this. Well, I mean that was actually same city needs <laughs> food. I should not have built the neighborhood then. I should have very, very clearly. Built food. Instead, I built a neighborhood because I'm like, oh, it needs more housing. No, nope. food was definitely my problem. Don't care about no violent storms. Don't care about no forest fire. I got a unit up for promotion. That would be you, which I can't do now because I've attacked with you. What is this message? Peace be on you and yours. It is heartening to see another just as pious as myself. You call him pious. Piety, Charlie. Piety. Oh, <coughs> now that I've done giving you a production, I could refuse the city. Okay, what? What? Hmm. Refuse the city to join your empire. It will remain a free city. The city will be immune to loyalty pressure from your cities and governors and will not ask to join your civilization again. It could still be won over by a different civilization. So, what? I'm actually going to keep the city because I need land on this side of the mountains, and I was held, I was stopped by Harold from expanding this way. So I might take it because I feel like that might be oil. No, sorry. That is where meteors have attacked the city over and over, and um, it's just terrible. I don't right. think there are meteor strikes. Yes, there are. But there are wildfires, rising tides, and volcanoes. There are meteor strikes. They're just not very common. 
Uh, let's see, what do you need? Renaissance walls sounds fair enough. I really should have done something for the stupid. You know, I'd love to do something for the stupid games, but unfortunately, I, I, I can't get a turn. I don't worry about it. You don't need no turn. Who needs turn these days? Okay, so should I just turn the game off? No. Oh. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see that? That's the old kicker there. Uh, yeah, you would rather I not turn the game off. But then I, you say I don't need a turn. So that's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that that's, uh, that's a very good, uh, good deal there, Menelik. There he is. Yes, indeed. Economics, build two banks. Electricity, own two privateers. Refining, flight, steel here. Uh, let's go with economics. Choose a civic. Go for civil engineering. Well, I seem to have still have a. Uh, a observation balloon in practically the middle of your territory. What do you mean practically the middle of my territory? Oh, so look quite literally in between you are and Kish. Oh. That. Yeah. Well, as it turns out, you can't blow those up. And believe me, my field can and try. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. There's a lot of things about this game I don't like. Well, I will uh, be sending it over here then. And while I'm at it... Just so my balloon can get by. Without well, having to be too much I of a honest, problem. Yeah. I honestly wouldn't recommend going north. Well, um, next turn, look at my deal. No deal. Really? Okay. Nope. I'm no going. Open borders. I guess it's going north. Well, the reason I said not to go north is that there are bandits in the north. No, I ain't worried about them. They could have that balloon. Mm. They can keep it. Yeah, no, I was uh, doing pretty good in my Warhammer 3 game. Um, yeah, uh, I'd managed to kick off most of the enemies from the continent. Oh, Research Alliance with Harold, yeah. I, I'll take that. What's and a then, Research uh, Alliance? Basically, the two of us combine our tech. Yeah. Uh, my deal. I have a deal proposal. They won't call in salt for gold, open borders, and they're going to give me a maple tree. Yeah, I've got too much of that. Then you can have it. I've got so much of it. I've actually reached my cap. I'm not quite on gold. I'm all on my cap on gold. You know, y'all won't. Uh, I ain't making no deals with you. Fuck you. How did you get that ring? No, hold on, you want that ring. Never mind. Gosh darn. No. Hmm. I'm not gonna make a deal with you. But yeah, no, um 
I had actually been having some problems. Um, I'd basically been sandwiched by a whole bunch of enemies that were all trying to push in from all sides, but thanks to me and my allies working together, I was able to first push off the uh, demons of corn, then manage to push back the vampire pirates, and then uh, finally I went south and fought off the... Uh, cultists of Zinch. Are we playing the same game of Civ? Holy shit, you got vampires and shit? Uh, this <laughs> isn't Civ 5. I'm talking about Warhammer 3. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were talking about Civ. I'm like, hold up now. Your game sounds more fun. <laughs> oh, it. Oh no, it's, it's a lot more fun than this. And I'm not saying that ironically. It is more fun than this. <laughs> it's and just a lot it's a lot more fast actually it's uh very similar to um how command and conquer plays no no that's that's not the big deal uh <laughs> because basically unlike in this game where it's just a oh uh make new city expand terrain create districts that you don't have space for anyway and then lose to someone with better tech than you. Uh, in that game, there's quite a lot of strategy. Every single um, civilization has a pretty good chance of winning. Yeah. Uh, provided they are run with some skill. But no, I mean, yeah, I, seriously, from the very beginning, it's it doesn't look good for your faction. Um, see, when you're playing Krokgar, you start out with just one little city, and everything else around you is basically ruins inhabited by these terrible, gigantic rat men called Skaven. And they're just really awful. Everything about them sucks. So you got to invade their territories, take their cities, and hope you manage to get enough territory to... Uh... Ooh, Suleiman just warned me. It has been demonstrated that... Oh, now I can actually uh, learn stuff more of this. Yeah. But, but yeah, um... The problem was, oh, I bet you I'm going to get oil instead of coal up here. Uh, but the issue was, was this, that uh, every time I would get one major enemy off my um, terrain, that it would be replaced by another. Okay. Come like, on. like uh, in the case of um, when you're playing as Krokgar here, uh, basically you would be invading various uh, ruins that are inhabited by one clan of Skaven, and then while you're doing that, another one just declared war on you and is marching towards the... Uh, capital. If your capital falls, you're screwed. Because it's the most heavily upgraded city you have. My friendship as Her with Harold has expired. Yeah, and it probably won't be uh, continued given the uh, fact that uh, Let's see here. Let's do opera and ballet. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay. Mm. You need a mid B, so I can give you something. <laughs> For y'all, uh, gosh darn, shipyard needs repaired? No, fuck that. I need to get a mid B, which means I need to do this. If I can. Ain't shit been done there, so y'all can have that. I hate how buying tiles is like one of the most useless forms of anything in this entire game. Can Why I buy is it you? Because you can't buy the useless? tiles you want. Well, I, I've had no trouble. I know, I just, I guess I'm so far away from what I want, I just can't. Oh, well, that's, that's what they make settlers for, Charlie. But then I'm overpopulated, like... I can make another city here. Yeah, I'll gain some aluminum. I'll gain some deer. A little bit of jade. But, I mean, that's all I'm going to get. Yeah, I'll trade with you, Harold. You've been good friends. Thank you. Embassy? Uh, oh, no. Um, I don't think I want to give you embassy. Hmm. <laughs> Repair. Natural wonder discovered. Oh, yeah, cool. what, what, what kind? Uh, Yonsemite. The, the mountain literally in the middle of your territory. That you practically... Yosemite? Sure. But whatever whatever that mountain is that you were practically born on over there. Oh, good. Oil. I'll take nuclear submarines. Let's see here. Steel. <laughs> right, so you're on nuke sub submarines now? I'm on telecommunication, which unlocks nuclear submarines, which doesn't require uranium to actually use currently, from what I can see. Well, I'm just now getting to steel. And to make matters worse, the only way I can boost it is to build a coal mine and an ironclad. Neither of which I'm capable of doing because no coal. Mm. Let's see. I really should put him here for... Yeah, he doesn't have any coal either. They have turtles, silver, marble, and diamonds. Oh, well, yeah, I actually like that idea. What? Fabricating a scandal in a city state. 
Oh. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty par for the course as far as, you know, international politics went back in the day. Fabricating a scandal about the opposition party in a government and then uh, using that scandal to justify actions against them. Of course, yeah. now nowadays we recognize that to be completely and totally unacceptable, but, you know, history does not care for modern standards. Holy crap! What? How are you leading in the world games? How are you not? <laughs> You've doubled my score! <laughs> wow! It's almost as if having more cities than you gives me a distinctive uh, edge in that category! <laughs> Touche on that. Touche. Yeah. yeah! Know what else it gives you? What? The end of an episode. Screw you. <laughs>